Welcome to this presentation by the League of Women Voters. Shortly after the 19th Amendment was passed and women received the right to vote, the League of Women Voters was established to assist people to register to vote and provide nonpartisan information so that people could become educated voters. In-person voting is currently the most used mode of voting. The goal of this PowerPoint is to provide information so that you know what to expect when you go to vote in person and are familiar with what you will encounter when you go to a polling place. Before you go to vote, check to make sure that you are registered because you must be registered in order to vote. Check your registration about a month ahead of an election. You can do this online by clicking on the address in the slide or typing vote.elections.virginia.gov in the search box on your computer. Then if you need to update your address, you will have the time to do so. If you receive a notice about your registration from the Office of Elections, be sure to read it and reply. You need information so that you are prepared to make good decisions about candidates and issues that are on the ballot. Go to vote411.org to learn about the candidates and the issues that will be on your specific ballot. Think about your values and your views. Decide which candidate most supports your views and will do a good job representing you. Understand the issues that are on the ballot. Learn more about both sides of these issues and make an informed decision ahead of time. You can print a sample ballot from this website and take it with you to the polling place if you wish. There are two ways to vote in person, early voting and voting on election day. Let's look at both of them. In Virginia, you can vote 45 days before election day. This early voting is also called in-person absentee voting because people are voting in person but they are absent from voting on election day. To vote early, you do not need a specific reason and you do not need to request an absentee ballot. The specific locations and times for early voting differ across Virginia. In Fairfax County, one location is usually in the Fairfax County Government Center. To find additional locations, dates, and times when you could vote early, go to the website of your county or city office of elections. This information might also be posted online. If you are a registered voter, you can vote at any early voting location provided by your county or city. Election day is the same day across the United States. It is always on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November. That's why the specific date changes from year to year. This year in Virginia, the polls will be open from six in the morning to seven in the evening. As long as you are in line by 7 p.m., you'll be allowed to vote no matter how long the line is at 7 p.m. You must vote in your assigned polling place. That location is listed on the notification you received with confirmation of your registration. You can also find it by clicking on the link on the slide or type vote.elections.virginia.gov in the search box. When you arrive at a polling place, look for reserved parking for voters. There probably will be signs around the outside of the building. People may also be distributing campaign materials. This is one last attempt to influence your vote. By law, signs and people distributing campaign literature must stay 40 feet away from the entrance. You can accept the handouts or not. You can talk to the people or not. Parking spaces are often reserved for voters. In addition, special parking places are available for disabled people and sometimes for elderly people. Additionally, if people are handicapped and cannot walk into the polling station, there should be a sign with a phone number so that someone from the polling station will come out to the car with a ballot. For people with disabilities who choose to vote inside the polling place, there are special machines to help them vote. This ensures equal access for all to vote. Once inside, follow the signs directing you to the polling place location in that building. You can take written material with you that will help you to vote. You can also wear a sticker, button, shirt, 
hat, or other apparel with a candidate's name or a polit political slogan on it. However, you cannot campaign or try to influence other voters inside of a polling place. Election officials will be sitting at a table. There may be other people behind them or on the side as well. These people are election observers or poll watchers who are there to ensure that the required procedures are being followed correctly. The election officials will ask you for an ID. You must show proof of your identity. Many documents can be used, including a driver's license, a voter registration verification that you have received in the mail, or a student ID issued in the United States. Look at the next slide to view all of the acceptable documents that can be used for voter identification. If you forget to bring an ID, you must sign an ID confirmation statement. You will be asked to state your name and address, and this information will be checked against official voter registration records. You will receive a paper ballot or be directed where to go to get one. This is a list of acceptable forms of identification for voting. Remember to being, bring an ID with you when you vote. If you forget, you must sign an ID confirmation statement in order to vote. The election officials may give you a pen or you can use one that you brought. You cannot use pencil or a gel pen. It must be a blue or black ballpoint pen. Take your ballot to the table as directed to vote in private. Your secret ballot does not need to be shared with anyone. That's why you may get a file folder to hold your ballot when you are finished marking it. Completely fill in the oval next to your choice. Do not make any other marks on the ballot. Make sure you vote for only the correct number of candidates. Remember to check your ballot to make sure you have marked your choices correctly before proceeding to the next station. After you have marked your choices on the ballot, put it in the folder to maintain your privacy and go to the election official by the scanning machine. You will be directed to insert your paper ballot into the machine, which will scan it and keep it for the records in case there is a need to, of a recount of votes. You do not need to show how you voted to anyone. Congratulations, you have voted and your voice will be heard. Remember, every vote counts.